Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mount Studio, and today we're going to talk about the second property under the UI view called Semantic. And it's one of those properties that you've probably seen all this time and don't even know what it's used for. So this video is going to tell you about it and what it's used for and how to best use it. So what does the word semantic actually mean? It means relating to meaning in language or logic. But to me, I think this is a poorly chosen word since you'll, as you'll see in this video, this has more to do with languages rather than meanings in languages. So basically what it's used for is handling the UI view. And we're used to having languages read from left to right. I'm, I'm assuming most of us are. And so you'll see something like this. We're used to seeing this kind of setup where you have a label on your left. And we'll say it's like name and you have a text field right next to it. And maybe there's some placeholder text that says, enter your name. So this seems like pretty standard setup, right? But in some countries, the languages read from right to left. So what Apple does is it actually switches this around. It puts the label on this side and puts your, your text field on this side. And the placeholder text will read from starting from the right side going left. But it does this automatically. You actually don't have to do anything to make this happen. And let's let's give an example here. Let's add some constraints. Okay. And we're going to change our scheme. Right now our scheme is set up to run it just like it is. Like if I run the project right now, what you see is pretty much what you get. Yeah, everything looks fine. Just like our storyboard. But what we want to do is let's simulate running this our application in a using a language that reads from right to left. And we can see that Apple ch will change our UI view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change manage I want to click on manage schemes. And I want to click on the plus, and we're going to give this a different name. Just call it right to left. And then we want to edit this under the run debug option here. We want to go to application language, and we're going to change that. Down here, there's an option right to left pseudo language. So I could, uh, if you know of a language that reads from right to left, you can pick that. like. Arabic, I believe, reads from right to left, but I'm just going to pick this option down here, right to left, pseudo language. Let's close that. Now let's run the application and see what happens. All right, well, this is interesting. You see, it was actually changed automatically for us. Uh, and this, this uh, placeholder text should actually be lined over here, but I think I know why it isn't. Let's go back here. Yeah, I left. I, I changed the alignment on it to always be left aligned. And this is how you can prevent things from being flipped as well. And that's that's the, the word that we're going to use is flipped. When we switch to a, a language that reads from right to left, the UI gets flipped. But the placeholder text didn't. And it's because I chose it to be left aligned. To make it flip automatically, what you want to do is select this option. And this is called the uh, natural language alignment or natural alignment. And what that means is it's basically going to pick a default alignment based on your language. So for left to right languages like English or Spanish or German, it's going to default to this. And for right to left languages like Arabic, it's going to change it to the right alignment. So we'll just leave it on the natural alignment for now. And let's run that again to make sure it changes properly. Yep, and it did. Okay, good. And I want to show you another example too. Let's add another label. We'll have it stretch all the way across. We'll add some constraints. And maybe this, oops. Maybe this says, thank you for participating. Okay. Now, of course, when we run this, 
it's going to switch the alignment of the text for a right to left environment. Just like that. But if you want to prevent it from flipping, you can just use the alignment. So all of these alignment options will override flipping. And that's just a good thing to know. If you're if you want to test your UI for a right to left environment or a right to left language, anytime you use these alignment controls, it's going to prevent flipping. But in this case, you notice this label is is too short. So changing the alignment isn't going to affect anything. And what it's what also happens here is it's actually flipping the the whole label is coming over here as well. So what if you want to prevent the label and the controls from flipping? What do you do in that case? Well, the container for these controls is in the view, and this is where you actually use the semantic property. So here we have a few different options and uh, that we could give it. We want to force it from left to right so we can pick that option. But what are these other options? Well, these basically, these three options basically prevent flipping from happening. Actually, all four of these options prevent flipping from happening. Because you're forcing uh, the alignment using these two options right here, either left to right or right to left. And these prevent flipping because playback, those are like controls that you use when you're playing sound or video. You know, you have your play button, your fast forward, your rewind. Well, fast forward is always going to be fast forward, and rewind will always be rewind in that direction. So you assign those controls playback to tell it not to flip those controls because it wouldn't make any sense. Everything would be backwards. And for spatial, it's pretty much the same thing. Spatial is, is tells it not to flip. And those are for like controls where it just doesn't make sense. For example, like if we use a segment control. And maybe you have buyers on one side and sellers on the other. Well. Depending on the language, it probably really doesn't even matter what side buyers is on. It doesn't matter if buyers is on the right side or the left side. So you can prevent this from flipping by choosing spatial. And let's run that just to check. Yeah, so this is preserved. Okay, now we were talking about these controls being flipped and how to prevent that. So what we can do is we can click on the view and go to semantic and we can choose, uh, let's say force left to right. And that'll prevent it from flipping. There we go. So really what's happening is it's not just preventing the controls from flipping, but notice that when flipping does occur, it's actually flipping your all of your constraints as well, your leading and your trailing constraints. And the leading and trailing constraints are they fall under the the view. So you have to change it on the view to uh, prevent flipping from happening. But let's take a look here. See the password, or not the password text, the uh, placeholder text. It is also aligned to the right. So how would you prevent that from happening? Well, I showed you one way that you can do that, and that is using the alignment controls. So if we force it to stay uh, left aligned, then it'll stay left aligned. Just like that. Okay, so that pretty much covers it for the semantic property. We went over uh, what semantic means and how you can use it to prevent flipping from happening. That's basically what you're all you're using it for is preventing flipping from happening when you when your app is being used in a is being used in a different language or a different uh, different country. And another thing that you learned is how to set up your scheme so you can test your your application in the right to left environment as well, right to left language environment as well. We can switch it back and then and then run it again and make sure everything looks fine that way too. Yep, so everything looks. Nothing's going to happen here anyway because we pretty much told it <laughs> not to change. So I hope this video helped and I hope you have a better understanding on what this uh, semantic property actually is and how you can use it to prevent flipping from happening when running your application in a right to left environment, right to left language environment. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video 
and consider subscribing.